Hey, it's Art Gelwix. There was a great post over in the Notion community on Facebook talking, or Notion Made Simple, I think is the name of it, uh, asking about meeting minutes and projects inside of Notion. And specifically, what he's trying to do is to put all of his meeting minutes in one place from multiple projects, which is, as a project manager, or having been a project manager, I can totally relate with. I think that's an easy way to get your hands around everything and still be able to keep things separate as you need to. So let's take a look at how we can do that really quickly in Notion without being exceptionally complex. So let me share out my screen, my Notion screen here. And here we go. Bingo. All right. Now, what we're going to do, and I'm going to move this out of my way. Here's the original question. So he wants to be able to have a project, have another project underneath it and have his meeting minutes, but be able to have one page that has all the meeting minutes together. Again, really common thing for project managers to want to do. So just for the sake of doing it, I'm going to go ahead and set up a couple of project pages just for us to use. So I'm going to create a page here and we'll call it project A. Nothing fancy, just a page. We'll come back to that later. Uh, and I'm going to back up here and we're going to create a project B too. And we'll call this one, if you haven't guessed already, project B. Perfect. So here becomes the challenge. If I want to take meeting minutes for project A, do I take them in project A or do I take them someplace else? Well, my gut reaction for this type of thing is to work for them the bottom up, the most common thing, and then split it into the places I need to work with it. In this case, I need all my meeting minutes together. Now, I would actually probably broaden this out even further to all the types of project assets, but for the purpose of this question, it's just meeting minutes. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to create a page called meeting minutes. And the reason why we're going to do this See if it catches up here. Helps if I click on. There we go. Oh, can't even type today. Meeting minutes, master list. Great. So I've got that. The reason why I'm going to do this is actually pretty simple because I want to create a page and I'm going to make this a wide page because I just, I've got the real estate. I might as well use it. I'm going to embed a table or create an inline table to hold all of my meeting minutes, but they're going to hold all my meeting minutes for all my projects in one place. So let's create this table first. So we'll create an inline table and the benefit here, we'll call the table meeting minutes. Matter, matter of fact, we'll do project meeting minutes. Every set of meeting minutes will have a title. Well, I can pick and choose that title as I want. But the first thing I need to know is I need to know what project that set of meeting minutes is related to. So we'll call this project. And I'm going to use a select field for that. That property is going to allow me to designate the project assignments. I'm also going to use one called type. And the reason why I'm going to use one called type is goes back to my previous statement about wanting to be able to handle more than just meeting minutes. But in this particular case, it's going to be just meeting minutes. So that'll be the only type I put in there. But this is going to give me that future proofing to be able to introduce more types of assets into this master listing. And remember, even though this looks like a grid, this looks like a spreadsheet, this looks like a table, every item that goes in here is actually a page. So I have nested levels of depth of content available to me and to work with. The last column I'm going to add here is I'm going to add a uh, date column and I'm just going to call it date. I could be more specific, but for our purposes right now, it's just a date column and it's going to vary for, for what I need. So to start off with here, we'll create a staff meeting for, and we're going to say it's for project A. Now, what I like, 
Again, love this about Notion. As soon as I start to populate something in one of these choice fields, if it doesn't recognize it, it gives me the option to create it on the fly and it adds it in. This is also going to be a meeting minutes. Ooh, misspelled that consistently today. So it's going to be meeting minutes. Easy enough. And we're going to give it a date of, let's say Monday. That sounds good. Now, we're going to have another staff meeting, but we're going to do this one for project B. This also will be meeting minutes and it's already populated there. Oops, I jumped the gun. Make sure that when you go to create something, you actually click on create so it generates it. And we'll say the eighth for this one. Now, this isn't a lot of stuff. It's very simple, very straightforward. Where the power comes in is when I back up a step. So let's go back to my meeting notes. And here I'm going to go into project A's page. Now on the page, I'm going to embed, actually, sorry, not embed. Matter of fact, let's do it the easy way. I'm just going to scroll down through here and say, where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Create link database. And I'm going to select the project meeting minute. Oops. And I'm going to misspell that all day long, aren't I? So we're going to select project meeting minutes. And sure enough, boom, there's my inline table. Now, why I'm doing this is very simple because now I'm going to apply two filters. You're probably saying, well, wait, it makes sense. I should just apply one. Well, I'm going to apply two and I'll show you why. The filter I'm going to apply is a two-step filter. The first part is to say when the project is project A. That makes logical sense. It matches the page. Therefore, I'm getting project A's meeting minutes. The second one, though, may seem a little redundant. And it's going to be when the type is meeting minutes. Now, why would I do that? I mean, I'm only, I'm only putting meeting minutes into this listing. But again, this is why I'm future-proofing this particular capability. If I wanted to have maybe a project charters, maybe approval documents, whatever else I wanted to include in there, that categorization would allow me on this project page to put in additional linked tables and be able to filter down to those other sets to really help me organize. But that's not even the reason why I did it. I did it because of this neat little feature. If I'm looking at project A's page, and I go and I add another meeting set of meeting minutes here, look what it's already done for me. It's already populated the project and the type columns because those are the filter criteria that I have applied. So if I say this is staff notes from, uh, let's say the second, sure enough, created and ready to go. And remember, I said these are connected to pages. So I can hit open as a page and sure enough, there's all my page. I can put in details. I could use a template. There's a ton of different things that I could go into to use this. But now I've got this ability to generate these notes on the fly quickly. So if I go back to my main page and I go to my meeting minutes master list, well, sure enough, there's project A, project B, here's project A again. There's my staff notes that I just created. Occasionally you'll get this kind of deadline that shows up. That's just because it existed in the master listing and then I added another entry, which always goes at the end of the list. So I'll just delete that and that gets rid of it. But we can do the same process just as quickly now for project B. I go into project B, I tell it to be empty with an icon. We'll add an icon for it for no reason. We're gonna pull up our options here and go all the way down through to where it says embed, or I'm sorry, I always get this wrong. It's a create linked database. And we're gonna select the project meeting minutes. It's smart enough to pre-populate that for me. Sure enough, there's my listing. Now you'll notice the filter did not come along for the ride. So I do need to recreate that again. So I'm going to go in and create a filter again here. Two steps, add a filter. In this case, the first part is project is going to be project B. And the second part is going to be type is meeting minutes. Sure enough, done and done. It's a great way to be able to go through and accomplish this feat of aggregating this information together into one place. And remember, anytime I want to, if I decide that I need to have this aggregate list of meeting minutes available, I can just do 
a linked database, grab the project meeting minutes, and sure enough, there's that master listing dropped right in here. I don't even have to jump to another page. So I hope this was helpful for you. This is the kind of thing that I think can really benefit as we start to use tools like Notion, not looking for the overly complicated pieces, but finding the pieces that we can get to an end result within just a few minutes, get some pieces in place with a little bit of forward thinking, a little bit of strategy involved as to how ultimately we're going to use this. I think we can find that there are uses that we're not, not seeing right away, but can be turned on and applied extremely quickly. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, I actually found it kind of interesting just to go back and play with this idea. So I'm going to play around with it some more and see if there's some other things that I can do with this in very quick order. But if you found this useful, please let me know. If you didn't find it useful, please let me know why not. Or if you have some other ideas as to how to approach this, I'd love to hear them. Anything, come drop it in the comments. Let's talk. And I hope you're successful with this. Good luck.